Hey folks, Stormfro here, and today I'm talking about the Chikara King Trio set. Uh, the, well, start off really quick. We got Officer Warren Barksdale. Um, fairly underwhelming, but I, I guess I don't know all that all that much about him. The, the gimmick's nice. Uh, he's a traffic cop, I suppose, but unfortunately his stats are. Fair, fair enhancement talent. He's better than Dragon Dragon, but much like his bad, bad character, got a fairly un below average pin rating. Offensively, uh, for levels 1 and 2, average, but level 3, kind of weak, as well as a 0 finisher rating. And as well as the short range for turnbuckle and step jump are are above its speed, but his disqualification range is at two, so he's not going to disqualify all that often. Secondly, we got Wani. I was looking forward to this guy since he's been played up as a, a homage to the great Muda, one of my favorites, but eh, offensively on level. The lower numbers of one, of level one and two on offense are eh, undercard at best. Defensively, fairly weak on two and three. And suppose the only thing going for him is a plus one finisher. Next we got Lucas Calhoun, eh, Elvis Parody. Um, what you think I could see is the uh, rope rating and agility and other than that I'd say not too average at best as well as two slots for his finisher on level three so he could be surprising the next two are the only active members of active former members of the Kanye Extreme Force on the roster at, the time, at this moment that is those being Missile Assault Man and Arctic Rescue Ants, currently known as Bullet Ants, if you're watching Chikara nowadays. Starting with uh, Missile Assault Man, he's at best very average. B ratings across the board on his chart, uh, zero on for both power and agility. And I suppose best, his best chances of winning are against guys that are with power of zero or worse, considering his uh, his power he his six on level one requires a power check, but thus far he can he can do pretty good. Secondly, as far as Arctic Rescue Ant is concerned, I consider him in an, an agile glass cannon, much like the Scout in TF2, as far as I know. Got great agility, poor, low power, but but then again, he also he's also got great chart rings in ropes and death, death jump, but poor in um, turnbuckle and ring. Offensively, very good. Has an add one and a zero finisher, but as far as defensively, got four down instructions all. Of, all around, but his pin ring is is average. So depends on how you roll on defense and whether or not he wins or loses. I mean, he got my he's holding my secondary title at the moment, so could be good. He could be going for the grand championship sometime soon if he if he, if he gets a roll going. These last three are the uh, upgrades from their previous card. We got Heidi Loveless, the first ever. Uh, Lions Cup champion, and I have to say, much all around well, well improved. Her finisher no longer has an opportunity to miss, and the constant of plus two. Her power is improved, and compared to her her shimmer card, let's see, rope ring is better, and I have to say. 
she does take a hit on level two. Her level two took a hit, but hey, I guess it balances it better. And I I think that yeah, she can do really good. Then we got the first ever grand female grand champion, Princess Kimberly. Her definitely fast improvement. She now has two finishers, including a plus one. And if both her turnbuckle and depth jump have improved, her power and agility have dropped, both dropped by one, but again, balancing. And pin rating is, that's, an, that's gone up as well, so it is a definite, she's a definitely, definite contender. Lastly, the one that surprised me the most, Juan Francisco de Coronado. Now, I was not expecting him to have a finisher that improves with every time he hit a specific move, but he gets it. So, he, that's that's a bonus in my that's a surprise in my book, as well as they took away his uh, his old mechanic of long entrances that I guess is permanent thing for him. People, I guess people are in Chicago are more tolerant of that, as well as. Much like Kimberly, she has a he had uh, he has a better pin rating. So I'm definitely I definitely want to get uh, hold on to him uh, hold on to him when I get uh, the immortal set so I can put him in Tomiko's matches alongside the Block Party as the United as the United Nations. So overall, I say King of Trios great great addition with a little bit of an enhancement talent. As well as some great additions to the singles rankings. Plus, later on, I might team the former uh, Missile Assault Man and our rescue ant with Worker Ant to do a secondary colony team. Um, well, as far as what, what's coming up latest, what, what's coming up in the future, I'm going to take a step away from this game for a while and talk about some talking about something else next time. To clue you in, I, I promise that I will be talking about it. If you don't know what this means, well, if you know what that means, then you probably know what I'm going to be talking about. So, till next time, I'll see you later.